Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today is March 18th, 2020. I am, of course, at home uh, delivering this message. This message is intended to go out to everyone. Um, it's kind of a general message. Um, I wanted to say a few things so that everybody at least understands the baseline of where I'm coming from. Um, so, as I take a sip of my nice warm coffee, um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted a video and, and published it. Uh, who would have thought, you know, two weeks ago, uh, two weekends ago, whenever I was refereeing uh, so many games, I mean, it was so busy that I didn't have a chance to actually record a message for the next week's assignments. I had no idea that we would get thrown into uh, kind of the chaos and, and the, you know, the situation that we're in right now. So we're going to do our best as we move forward. And obviously, one thing that everyone knows is that um, the state of Illinois is pretty much on shutdown. And ISBE has basically said that we can give assignments to students, but we cannot hold students accountable for those grades. Um, so it's kind of an oxymoron. It's one of those things that we give, but we cannot receive and accept for credit. So here is what I wanted to make sure that all of my students, and therefore parents, and anyone else who sees this message that you all understand um, kind of what I told my classes so everybody's on the same page. Fully aware that I cannot accept grades necessarily for credit, but one thing I can do is try to encourage students to stay in an academic mindset, continue to learn, continue to do work, continue to stay on some type of a schedule. And everything that I talked to my students about on Monday, two days ago, I did tell them that everything that I was talking to them about, the assignments, the expectations, the no red ink, the reading, the literature, the writing, all of those things will be assigned when we come back. Now, best case scenario, we come back on the 31st, that Tuesday, and I would assign all of the work that they would have had essentially two weeks to work on and, you know, obviously extend that deadline just a little bit so that they have time to uh, read and then finish their papers or whatever their assignments are. They would have a little bit of, of time to get those things realistically accomplished. But essentially, they would have two weeks, these two weeks uh, to get a nice head start on all of those things. And then whenever they come back, it would just be clean up make it perfect, kind of a low stress scenario. Students, of course, do have the option to do absolutely nothing uh, over the next two weeks. And therefore, when we come back in two weeks and I give those assignments, then it's going to be a little more stressful for them because they're going to have a shorter amount of time uh, to get that work accomplished, essentially. Um, when you think about the two weeks, they could have uh, done a lot of that work in that two week time period. Okay, so yes, it seems like I loaded students with a lot of work, but it is going to be assigned the moment that we come back to school. And within reason, there will be deadlines and they will be held accountable for that work. So I'm looking at it as they have these two weeks to prepare for an assignment that they know is coming in the future. Okay, now the other side of that is there are some there are some students who are not in a good academic standing because they uh, slacked off a little bit maybe during third quarter and some of their grades are not the best uh, did not turn in assignments to their um, to their best ability um, really talking specifically with those students who are in that d or f range you have this two week or this time period off to go back and do old work and submit that to me for partial credit. I'm not going to give full credit on those assignments, but I will give partial credit, which is better than some of the zeros that are in there. That will help your grade um, get bumped up to a reasonable expectation. Um, worst case scenario is, and again, worst case scenario, we're done for the semester and grades are cut off as of March 16th, and we just move forward from there. Some of you uh, cannot afford that. So please understand I have about eight seconds left. I'm trying to do my best to help everyone out. Uh, let's work together and I'll talk to you later.